Welcome back. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. How's fight week going so far? Good. Easy peasy, business as usual. <laughs> would you consider three months a good turnaround for fighting, or would you prefer to fight? Yeah, more? no, I would consider that a really good turnaround. So it's been a while since you've had to finish. Is that something you think about, or you want to just win? Just constantly, win? constantly. I, you know, like I always want to win, obviously, but the way if you know you always want to finishing the fight is is just it's more gratifying. It's a uh, it's a bigger statement. It uh, it just feels better. That's what everybody wants. They want that finish. They want that that knockout, that ground and pound, that submission. They want that definitive. I beat you, not that, you know. Oh, well, the judges thought this. And how do you train for that? Because you can't, you can't, you don't know what to expect with your opponent. So how do you kind of tell your mind and your body to, to look for that finish? Um, I don't think you really train for that. I think that's one of those things that's a little more instinctive. Um, and you just kind of have to seize the opportunity when it's there. And really, like, go with your, your game plan, whatever your, your, your strategy is that you come up with your coaches and your corners, you know, try to, uh, you know, stick to that plan as best as possible because that's that's where you see the the weak links in the armor, um, and uh, and that's that's where you're going to get your opportunity to get that finish. You know, a couple of times I came up short with a, uh, a couple different submission finishes, so we do things like tightening up our uh, our, our jujitsu work. Um, you know, really stepping and making sure we're turning over on our punches more, just little little details to be like, well, you connected a lot there, but you weren't really sitting down on your hips the right way, or you were reaching too much, or this, you know, so just back to good old fashioned, just practice, 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 just rep it out, rep it out until it becomes a natural thing that you don't have to think about. And you weren't the uh, original opponent uh, for your opponent. You took it about a month. Yep. Correct. Would you you wouldn't consider that short notice, or do you kind of? Um, I would say it's short enough notice. Yeah, short enough notice. So how do you adjust a camp then at that time frame? Um, you know, you, you pretty much kind of jump to the the last four weeks of what you would be doing in in camp. You know, thankfully, uh, you know, with everything going on, the 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 win streak that I've been on, it's it's warranted me some opportunities to really be consi more consistent with my training and, and add more training sessions in. Uh, so I've been able to stay in shape. So the conditioning aspect of it wasn't really like a focal point. It wasn't like, oh, I need three months to make sure I'm ready for, you know, to go the distance if I need to. Um, it was really just uh, just strategizing at that point and getting the reps in for where we think, you know, we're going to do best. And when you got the name, what, what were your first thoughts there? Um, my first thoughts were, who, <laughs> who, you know, uh, and not, not because, you know, like, who is that guy? Or, it's just because he's not a heavyweight. So he wasn't even on my ra radar at all. Um, I just, yeah, that was my first thought was like, huh? OK, all right, sure, let's, let's get busy. And what have you figured out about him now since then? Um, he's, a, he's a very grappling heavy guy. He's really strong in his grappling. He's also an accomplished kickboxer, so he's pretty well rounded. But most of his fights are come by, uh, you know, his finishes come by submission or, or ground and pound. So we're expecting him to come out with some heavy pressure, looking for that takedown. Um, and, you know, being the uh, lighter guy stepping up to heavyweight, we obviously expect him to be a little quick. Do you pay attention to the betting odds at all? It looks like you're the underdog. Um, do, you, do you, like, think about that does that help it you it doesn't bother me at all that was the underdog when i fought parisian that didn't go the way they thought it would i was the underdog when they fought when i fought uh um chase sherman you know like i've, I've been the underdog a lot and that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> do you like it because i've heard a lot of fighters kind of like that yeah i you know i don't pay attention to it you know like i don't mind it I, I think it's funny in certain situations where I'm just kind of like, what, how how do they come up with these odds? You know, like what are what are they looking at? You know, and then other times where I'm like, yeah, well, you know, that sounds about right. You know, so I don't put any weight on it as far as like my mental state going into the fight, but it is always a, a little intriguing to see. Like, oh, I wonder how they did that. Are you gonna put any money on it? Absolutely not. I don't bet on myself. That's like bad juju. <laughs> That's what the last guy just said. Yeah, no, that's that's like cardinal sin. <laughs> Do you ever fight on? I mean, bet on any other fights? 
or, or it, no, so. you know, I'm I'm not a gambling guy, but I think I might have to start just playing a little bit around, you know, because it's always interesting to me because, you know, like like you said, I I was the underdog in, you know, two out of my last three fights, and I've won every single fight, and it's it just like you know, being a, a fighter and being in the game as long as I have, I feel like I probably have an advantage on, on picking those odds better than the, the, the people that are setting these odds. And just one last betting question for you. Sure. Um, do you ever get fans like saying afterwards, like, oh, I put money on you. Thank you so much. And you. Uh, yeah, a lot, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like everybody's always kind of like sending me pictures of their tickets or like, oh, you made me so much money. Thank you. Great job. Or, you know, like, hey, you know, sending me before the fight, like, oh, I put money on you. Good luck. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Cool, you know, here's my Venmo, here's my PayPal, you know, like, let me get a piece of the action. <laughs> awesome, thank you so much. No problem. Just one quick one. We don't a lot of times see fighters coming in on the prelims lately, just doing the main card. Yep. Why, does it, why do you think that you guys got the nod to come in here? What does it say about your guys' fight? Is it the heavyweights? Is it the, your, your fight styles? Why do you think they, they decide to bring you guys here today? I think they think it's going to be an entertaining fight. You know, I think it's uh, that classic matchup of a grappler versus a striker. You know, uh, I've, I've proven my ability with my striking. He's proven his ability with his grappling. Um, and then, of course, you know, being a heavyweight matchup, everybody loves the heavyweights. Uh, so we're just, uh, I, I think it's just something that people are really intrigued by, you know. And, and I'm glad that you sort of said the grappler versus the striker. Is that sort of how you see it as well? Or do you see danger in his hands as well? Because he does have some striking finishes if you go, if you go back quite I mean, a ways. There's always danger in people's hands. You weigh over 200 pounds, you can knock somebody out. You weigh, on, you know, even the smaller guys, you know, like it's, it's always a risk, you know, that you get clipped just the wrong way. But I, 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 I don't think I'm selling myself short by saying, you know, like he's he's more of a grappler. With that being said, is there something, you know, I, I look at you look at it like his topology record, half of his last things on there are grappling bouts. Is there something that excites you as well that if should it go to the ground, you want to test your your grappling skills and your ground skills against a guy that most people consider a great grappler? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to be able to showcase some of my abilities there as well. You know, so should we find ourselves on the ground, I'm, I'm plenty confident that I'll do exactly what I need to do to, to, to come out with my hand raise. And I guess that's, that's my last question. You know, is it just a matter of you guys showing up to, to get that exciting fight? Or what are the keys to victory for you? What needs to happen to make sure that you really get your arm raised at the end of the night? Um, I think, I think my, my biggest key is to keep it on the feet. But I'm also obviously plenty comfortable on the ground. I've shown in my last couple of fights that I've been working really well on my wrestling. I'm a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. I probably could be a black belt by now if I put my gi on more often, but I haven't put it on consistently for like the last seven years. Um, you know, I, uh, you know, it's just something that I've, I was always kind of like, well, I really got to work more on my, my no gi stuff and my wrestling because I'm only going to be able to fight for so long and I have the rest of my life to chase my black belt. Um, so, you know, that's, that's probably the only reason why I'm not officially a, a black belt yet. I felt like that was like a subtle hint to your coaches. Like, no, not know, at all. I not be, at all. I could be. A, but is that, <laughs> is that the kind of thing that you would appreciate? Should you go against a high-level grappling guy? We see a lot of guys get awarded their black belts after they beat a high-level grappling guy. Is that something that would be a wonderful surprise, or is it you expect that it's going to happen down the line? Um, that that would be a beautiful surprise, of course. But I, I think it'll be happening later, later on down the road. Awesome. Best of luck, Insider. Thank you, man.